Sherman and Tingle in the morning. And now, Sherman and Tingle present Two Minutes with Our Wives. From 97.1 FM, The Drive. This is where both of our wives come on and give us grades of how we performed as husbands over the weekend. Tingle's wife, April, my wife, Katie. And uh, believe it or not, I believe April is there. April, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I didn't think this was going to happen That's today. two weeks in a row. Wow. Look at that. Mm-hmm. My little team player. How are you this morning, Sunshine? Half asleep. Oh, okay. Well, let's uh, let's get you back to bed. Okay. All right. What kind Good of... night. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, not yet. You gotta wait. What what kind of grade are you gonna give your husband, Steve Tingle, April? Um, I'm gonna give him a B. A B. <laughs> Why a B? Hmm. Um. Mm. I'm going to give him a B because, I don't know, the B sounds good. We had a good weekend. Um, We went to the beer event. That was good. (laughs) It was nice to meet everybody. Her brain's trying to work right now. I was going to say, she's she's trying to rewind the tape from the weekend. And then then he called me on stage, which was terrible. So that was not fun. I don't not like being called on stage but then he rebounded by taking me and all my drunk friends out and that's nice of took you. Us to a, yeah he did he was a trooper he drove us all home and took us to another bar and so yeah it was good. a b a b yeah, i was good. an uber driver look at that i was doing good all right go back to bed sweet pea yeah i'm going to all but right. thanks for waking me up i Appreciate love you it. Right. I like the process, though. We, we we hear the process of her rewinding the tape, you know? And it takes a little bit to get there. Did you say on stage she had been on Ambien for three days? <laughs> She's here. She's well rested. She's sniffing Ambien. Yeah. April Tango. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, my wife, Katie, she, she joins us now. Katie's on the line. Hello. The drastic difference between Katie and April <laughs> on the phone is comical. Hello, Katie. Hello. What kind of grade do you want to give Toma over here? Toma. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. He's going to get a C minus. Uh, all right. Go ahead. Why C? Toma rage for sure came out. We came home um, after the event on Saturday, and guess who lost their phone? I didn't lose I it. I know why I he lost his phone. It. I left it. I left it in the yeah. Uber. I left, left it. it in the right. Uber car. Okay. Yep. I I like I I like how you have um, awareness right now saying that. But when we were when we found out that you lost your phone, and I said, "Oh, it's probably in the car." I mean, it didn't matter. Like, oh, look at you calmly I, saying, "Oh, I, I left it in the car," but I that's saw, not how it went down on I Saturday. Saw such red. I saw such red in anger because. It, it wasn't even the money that was going to anger me the most. It was the fact that I was going to have to go through IT here at the station because we have, like, NORAD of security on our phones for emails, and I knew that was going to take forever. It was going to be such a process. There was nothing. Like, everything in life now is attached to this damn thing in our lives, the iPhone or whatever smartphone you have. How did you lose it? I just left it there. Coming back, hi. What do you mean? What you you were like playing on it, and you set it down on the on the set it on the seat. Are you kidding me? I probably had like eight Sherman and Tinkle Driver Nation's loggers. That's why I took the Uber. That's what happens in an Uber. You yeah. lose phones. That's what you you, you 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 travel to places, and then you lose your phone inside the damn place. Let me tell so. you why you lost your phone. Because mm. you didn't put it in your front pocket. You didn't. You need pocket bulge. And no, you I, have I don't issues. need your bulge. Your yeah. So you, you lost the phone, and you, and you shorten your lifespan. I'll take my bulge any day of the no, week. Your square pockets. Wait, sound weird. Yeah, that did sound weird. Yeah, sorry about that. I did. But Katie, I will I will give her credit, even though she's giving me a C right now. She was the champion. She got a hold of the Uber guy. She was calling my phone while I lay in bed in the clothes that I wore just, to the event. Yeah. Just kicking and screaming. I was so hey, by, by the way, by the way, his phone is always on silent. So I'm trying to call it and the uh, Uber driver obviously can't hear it 
If he would have put his phone not always on silent, the Uber driver probably would have heard it that night. Yep. Listen, I, I keep it on silent because of this stuff that I do. Otherwise, you'd be hearing the phone ring all the time when we're on the air. That's why I keep it. It doesn't matter. All right. I'll take the seat. It's fine. I love take you. it. I love you. Love you. All right. Love you. Love you, girl. I was so angry. I haven't been that angry in a long time. I was just so furious. Have you ever been so furious that you sleep in your own clothes? It wasn't even because I was hammered. No. I was just so angry, I didn't want to change. I have not. I cannot relate because I got pocket bulge. I keep it up front. Oh, get out. It's all my rage. I don't lose it. I was I, I was singing Hot Toma Nights that night. I was, <laughs> I was, I was totally singing. And I, I'm I, gonna. And I'm gonna. Sing it, Sherm. Bread into the Sherman family tradition. Hot Toma Nights, baby! You, you, ju- you just blow your top. You're like... You're like Clark Griswold. <laughs> just, you, you explode. You keep it there and you explode at the wrong time. And then everybody else takes shrapnel to the legs. The Sherman and Tingle Show. Mornings on 97.1 FM, The Drive. Chicago's classic rock.